And the spirit of Lucifer is in everyone who's entered on, beyond the apprenticeship, entered the apprenticeship degree, because they vow allegiance to Lucifer. Now, in different parts of the country, you will have more Christianized lodges, mm -hmm. but most of them are very vague about who God is. You'll have the Quran, you'll have the Bible, you'll have whatever sacred books they want to have. Okay. What is the connection between Masons and Mormons? I've never heard that the two are connected. Oh, absolutely. Joseph Smith, Jr., of course, who founded the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, took all of the secret ceremonies that are done in the temple, in Mormonism, straight out of Freemasonry. It's the reason the Freemasons hate the Mormons, and the Mormons hate the Freemasons, because they're a copycat. Let's switch gears, but before we do, I... I am so impressed with this book of Thank world you. religions and cults and occult groups. Um, I assume you had a whole team of specialists do the work because you're so busy. I, I do it myself. Why? I do it myself. Why do you do it yourself? Because I have such a fascination, uh, an historical interest in this. It's been my life. I've lived it. I mean, it's cross-checked and referenced by a team of people. But as far as the writing, I, it, it's myself. It's a, a product of what I've observed in, in more than three decades of ministry, watching this stuff. Now, I was involved uh, over 30 years ago before I get, became a believer in the Messiah in something called Silva Mind Control. It's in the book. I know. And, <laughs> but, and, and you know what's so wonderful about this? He not only has what it is, what its roots are, uh, what it tries to prove, but how to help someone get out of it. How to under Listen, first thing is understanding. Uh, th th how, many, how many different cults and occult groups do you have? Hundreds. So, so literally hundreds well, categorized. Uh, look, there are a lot of books on this subject. Why did you do this? I did this because people needed a quick encyclopedia capsuled summary so that in just a matter of seconds they can go to the alphabetical index. A friend, a loved one brings up a term they've never heard before. What's that? Is that good or bad? They flip, they find it, and 30 seconds they got an answer. Listen, I went to a health food store, mm -hmm. and uh, a conversation is going on with the owner and someone else. And the, the owner says, I finally have found the ultimate, a course <laughs> in miracles. Uh -oh. This is a strong Christian, I, and this is the most wonderful thing. It answers all oh. of my questions. Uh-uh. Ah. What? Of course, what? What? <laughs> it's in the book. A Course in Miracles <laughs> was received by automatic handwriting through demonic dictation through something called the voice. And it's got Jesus in there, but it denies all the cardinal tenets of the Christian faith and in fact seeks to supplant the Christian faith. It was received from the spirit world by a demon. The whole thing. There seems to be so many New Age courses. Yeah. Uh, are you finding there is a increase in the number of Christians that need deliverance? It's just, it's, it's so explosive that I and we've got a hundred deliverance teams all over America. We can't keep up with it. The caseload, we're backlogged for weeks in all of our teams because of the numbers of Christians who have gotten involved in stuff they didn't know was bad and they picked up garbage. I mean, you've even discussed Star Wars mm -hmm. has got evil roots. Uh, in, in just 30 seconds, well, the evil what's wrong with it? It goes back to Zen Buddhism. George Lucas is a Buddhist. Yes, he, but that doesn't make the movie a Buddhist. But he has stated publicly that the, the whole frame, ref, frame, frame of reference of the worldview and the characters is based on Buddhism, and he has said things like he deliberately concocted Yoda to be a mouthpiece for Zen. But, you know, one of the reasons that I'm interested in you, that I'm so interested in you, Bob Larson, and what you have to speak in, especially this book, I wish I had had this as a traditional Jewish man. I got involved in something uh, called Silva Mind Control. It was taught by good people trying to accomplish good things. I found out the most deceived people were those that were teaching. And one day, a Christian had enough chutzpah, enough nerve, to say, Sid, turn to your own Torah, your own Jewish scriptures. In Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, God calls it an abomination to communicate with the dead, seances, uh, being involved in the various occult and New Age types of courses. Now, I didn't even believe the Bible was real at that point. I believed it was just good stories. But just on the 1% chance that it was real, I said, I'll go into neutral gear. And I'll just read the Bible. I mean, after all, I'm Jewish. 
and I got the shock of my life. This New Age spirit guide that they had instructed that I invite into myself started cursing me when I read the Bible, and I knew it was true. Well, listen, I didn't know what to do, but fortunately my Christian friend said there was a greater power than the power that was destroying me. I literally didn't care whether I lived or died. And I prayed a two-word prayer. But the important thing is, I got the name right, and my heart was right. I said, Jesus, help. That's all I said. And I, I gave up. And I can tell you that when I woke up the next morning, I was just encased with the most love I'd ever experienced in my entire life. I tell you that if you could taste this love, there is nothing anyone, anything offers to compare. And the love is the love of God, but there's no other name in which we must experience God through but the name of Jesus. Hebrew, Yeshua, the King of the Jews. Call the number on your screen and ask to receive Larson's Book of World Religions and Alternative Spirituality for a donation of $22 postage paid. Ask for order number 1.